Keir Starmer's Labour Party exiles Harry and Meghan at explosive election debate with Rishi Sunak. During the UK election debate, Nigel Farage, the outspoken former leader of UKIP and the Brexit Party, launched a scathing attack on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Farage's inflammatory comments, which he interjected into a heated exchange between Rishi Sunak and Keir Starmer, portrayed the Sussexes as crushers and painted them as the true enemies of the Crown. His explosive criticism accused the couple of exploiting the royal connections for personal gain, while undermining the institution that they once served. Farage's comments come after much controversy surrounding the Sussexes, including their much-criticised Netflix documentary, which suggested that the Brexit vote had contributed to the racist abuse that Meghan Markle faces. The documentary has become central to ongoing political and cultural debates in the UK, showing how the toxic atmosphere surrounding the Brexit referendum has increased hostility towards Meghan, a view that Farage strongly opposes. He accused the Sussexes of smearing the 52% of Britons who voted for Brexit as racists, calling the assertions despicable. This isn't the first time that Farage has criticised Harry and Meghan. His criticism of the couple was relentless. From the decision to continue the tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey while Prince Philip lay in his hospital bed, to their purported disrespect for the Queen, Farage argues that their actions have consistently weakened the monarchy and predicts a sharp decline in their public standing as a result. Public and political reaction to Farage's comments was swift and polarised. Supporters praised him for his outspokenness in defence of traditional British values. Rock critics accuse him of using the Sussexes as a distraction from more pressing political issues, exploiting their notoriety to gain political traction. This tactic fits with Farage's broader strategy of appealing to conservative and nationalist sentiments by positioning himself as a defender of the monarchy and traditional values against progressive influencers. Farage's media presence is significant, especially on platforms such as GB News where he continues to criticise the Sussexes and other high-profile figures. His comments about Harry and Meghan were often echoed by others in the media, including one notable instance where Spotify chief executive Bill Simmons called the couple crushers. After their $25 million deal with the streaming giant ended with a minimal amount of content produced. Farage's attacks on Harry and Meghan are part of a larger debate about the future of the British monarchy. His comments highlight ongoing discussions between the traditional role of the royal family and the modern, often controversial actions of younger members. By positioning the Sussexes as rivals to the crown, Farage tapped into public scepticism about the couple's intentions and actions. Chancellor Rishi Sunak has maintained a certain distance from the controversy surrounding Harry and Meghan. While some MPs have proposed legislation to strip the Sussexes of the royal titles, Sunak's government hasn't endorsed such measures. This stance reflects a reluctance to further politicise an already sensitive issue, underscoring the importance of maintaining focus on pressing national issues. One of Sunak's listeners reiterated the government's position, saying that the Prime Minister doesn't support a bill proposing to strip the Duke and Duchess of Sussex of their royal titles, thereby avoiding entanglement in the internal affairs of the royal family and maintain a focus on governance and public affairs. Public and political reactions to Sunak's stance and the Sussexes' actions were mixed. Supporters of the monarchy and traditionalists see the Sussexes' criticism as an attack on British values and institutions arguing that their public revelations are damaging, harmful and unpatriotic. Competing, supportive couple highlights the importance of tackling issues such as racism and mental health, casting the Sussexes as brave voices challenging an outdated establishment. Politically, Sunak's decision not to support sanctions against the Sussexes fits into a broader strategy to avoid divisiveness, focusing instead on policy and governance to strengthen his leadership and address important national issues such as economic recovery, healthcare and education.